Hey, good morning, and welcome to the Stephen C. Raphael O-Mad Man Show. I am Stephen C. Raphael, the O-Mad Man. Um, let's see, I wanna first start, this promotes eating one meal a day. Don't go away if you're the first time uh, watching this because, uh, you know, I do a little, uh, I kind of play these little songs to help you remind these kind of things. Please subscribe to the station, and I'm gonna first start off with the basics of Oh, mad. You might wondering why I'm eating with some chopsticks because uh, uh, it makes you eat a lot uh, slower and enjoy your meal. Basics, take a plate and put a, uh, you know, a little bit of carb, just a little little bit of uh, boneless Brussels, I would say chicken, a little bit of protein and a little bit of fat. You got to have a little bit of all that and not a lot, but eat what you like and uh, eat one meal a day. I try to find at the same time. I eat at five o'clock every day, and I've been doing this show for a couple months now every day, and uh, the, the one video that everybody likes is when I'm sitting on the couch for my first video, and I was like if Will Smith or George Bolter or anybody is being interviewed, they, they don't have the character going. They're acting like that, and uh, that's my most popular video because it says like, everything I did. Now I, I just try to give you hints of what I, what I do, and when you're eating at, uh, let's see for you, those fans, it says, I like you. Just black coffee. Don't put cream or sugar in it because that's just extra calories and it's going to spike your insulin. Eating candy, eating french fries at McDonald's, eating cheeseburgers with buns and all that kind of stuff just makes you hungrier and there's no nutrition value. So if you're, if you, if you're going to a party, it might be a New Year's Eve party, but tonight might be a, tonight might be a Christmas Eve party. You never know. People are going to have a whole bunch of food. And if they eat at two o'clock, well, you know what? If your time is at four o'clock or five o'clock or seven o'clock, you're just going to have to um, concentrate on your meals and, I mean, concentrate on just drinking a, a non caloric I can't say it, calorie, no calories, black coffee or tea uh, in your beverage, and just focus on the conversation. There's a lot of people. What about Aunt Millie or Joan or Aunt May? Just focus on that and friendship and just drink. And if they all say, oh, you know, you're not eating... You know, you might start noticing once your clothes gets really thin. Look at this. These are 30-30s. And look at the brand new shoes. I, I mean, I'm, I've got, I mean, I've, I've lost like over 50 pounds, 60 pounds. Um, now I don't even, I got to kind of do it in my mouth. How much have I lost? Oh, not only that, I lost all these fat patches in my face. I had like a big hole here. It's just uh, now, but I still think, God, I look a little pudgy, but this right here, I lost half my face. Somebody once had in this face, but crew. Now, you know what time it is real quick? Chinese wisdom proverb time. Okay. Too much talk and going nowhere is like climbing a tree to catch a fish. Basically, you could hear me ramble on and ramble on and ramble on and talk about it, or you could talk about your diet and all that stuff, but too much talk without going anywhere is like climbing a tree to catch a fish. Unless you're over the tree to catch the, uh, over the brook to catch the fish. But basically, it's like, if you just keep thinking about it, you're gonna do it, you're gonna do it, and you know, I like watching the show or this, that, do it. You know, I love getting testimonials all the time. My favorite thing about doing this ch show is, I mean, the first favorite is when people subscribe. Okay, I've got over 400, I got 452 subscribers. Some days I get 10, some days I get two. And um, I just, I love when someone leaves a comment. Even if you just say, hey, show was just like yesterday. Or hey, uh, you know, I'm gonna do it. Hey, I got one. If you just get one good thing, you know when you go to church or you go to temple, you go and you get one nugget to chew on, that's what I'm trying to do. And I believe weight loss, uh, you know, I've tried, you've heard, come on, sing it along. I've tried Weight Watchers, it didn't last. I tried Overeaters Anonymous, I tried so many things, but it didn't, it didn't, it didn't, didn't stick. You know, um, and uh, so let's talk about the diabetes center. I used to have diabetes type two. See the discoloration. I still like to check it maybe once every couple days. It used to be four and five hundred, and that's death. It's supposed to be between seventy and one twenty, because all I did was eat and I didn't care. And uh, I even lost weight in my feet. What do you think of that? 
But, and then I had one of these things and I would just check it. The diabetes center only lets, uh, your insurance lets you check it four times a day, five times a day. And now I, I used to check it a thousand times a day until I learned about what wasn't, I uh, shouldn't be e eating. But going back to OMAD, one meal a day, I am the OMAD man. OMAD man, burning off my fat here every day. Now in the land of OMAD, you eat one meal a day, there's a restaurant. Because of the holidays, it's closing early. The, in the restaurant there, they open at five and close at 520. There's enough room for everybody. You walk around in, you get your food. There's great conversation. There's entertainment at the table. It's just great. Um, I have a Patreon channel so you could help support uh, the uh, channel. I do this every single day. You could, in the subtitles there, whatever the show's at. Okay, now, one day, you, you know, soon you're gonna have to decide for a snack. Do I wanna eat a, when I say snack, I'm talking to you heavier people. Well, you could be thin still. And is the snack gonna be a drive through at McDonald's cheeseburger, which I could probably eat about 18 of those because all the, the meat is this thin. All they are is bun and cheese and ketchup and mustard and little, uh, okay, or you're gonna eat a, uh, an apple. Now we all know apple is better than cheeseburger, but if you eat too many apples, it's gonna spike your insulin. You know, uh, Steve Jobs died of pancreatic cancer because all he was, was, um, all he was was eating, he was a fruititarian. All he ate was fruit and his pancreas couldn't ha uh, handle it. And like I said earlier, my uh, if you go on to my Steve Raphael or uh, Omad oh guy, um, and you go into videos, the, the one that's got like 15, 1600 hits is when I'm just going like this and being talks. But I like to keep things going focused. Just like on Star Wars, that little green munchy guy, Yoda, he said, may the fast be with you. I borrow that from the old man outlaw guy. Now let me tell you how to do it. First you get, you get your plate with all your food and your beverages. And I would say eat well. I would say even if people, I'd carry a little chopstick pack, which I've showed you if you watch, and eat with this, because watch. Oh, it fell off. Oh, I got a little bit. And if you eat like that, um, I like you. If you eat like that, you're gonna be eating way, way slower. And um, here's a little song to help you remember. I was fat, and now I'm thin. I used to have four double chins and on the old madman I'm doing the best I can and if you ask me again I'll say I never take it for granted because I'm not going to be a peacock I don't want to eat, I don't want to sleep, I... Um, I just want to say that I won't take it for granted and become arrogant and stuff because you, I do start, I notice, I'm starting to notice a lot of heavy set people in restaurants and stuff like that. <coughs> Pick a time, you gotta be consistent. I used to practice the piano. And my ex-wife from Sweden, hey, I'll spiel a piano. She said, <coughs> why does he have to play every single day we went to counseling? Because like a tree needs to be planted every day. I mean, it needs to be watered. It needs to the sunlight. It's gotta be nurtured every single day. And so pick your time that's consistent. Think of King Kong, consistency is what she said to me. O-B-I-S-E-T-E, -E. I love that song. O-B-I-S-E-T-E is what she said to me. Now, don't eat at 4.45. My, I'm just saying, pick a time. Mine is five, so I don't eat at 4.45. I don't eat at, because uh, then I'll start eating at 4.20, then maybe 4.15, then I'll eat it. You know, your body, once you know it's five, and plus it's self-discipline. You know, you sit there and wait. And um, that's the best thing is, you know, getting the self-discipline and then your stomach has a brain, according to an old Chinese doctor. He said, your body, and just like my prestidigitation, check this out. I'm not even concentrating. I don't even know what I'm doing. Well, I can take a math test. Watch this. I know I was going uh, C, a, uh, E, chromatic scale. So what I'm saying is all these fast things that I'm doing 
is it's all muscle number. It's all this right here. That's the C arpeggio. I don't even have to look anymore because I'm used to it. Create habit. You know, I don't sit here and play the piano to impress you, but to impress upon you. I just use it as a little tool, you know? And, uh, um, you know, I want to talk to you about the Diabetes Center of America, whatever. A guy, there's a movie called What the Health, and if you ever want to see something mind-boggling, he just goes into all these places. He went into the Diabetes Center in America, and, and he asked the head guy, the CEO, what diet would you recommend? And he goes, to lose your diabetes, onset diabetes, diabetes type 2, which half the people that are watching this probably have it, but they don't want to deal with it. And he, and he asked him that, what, what should they eat? And he goes, I'm not comfortable talking about that. Well, let me tell you something. It's, it's science. If you have a glass of water and you check the blood sugar level, it'll be at a normal level. But if you put a whole bunch of sugar or you eat a whole bunch of bread, it'll be really high. So stop eating a whole bunch of carbs. Stop, cut, cut down, and please don't eat a whole bunch of candy or something. You know, I mean, if you have a piece of pie or cake once in a while, you know, being the old madman, we don't even have that on our planet. But, uh, you know, basically, he said he wasn't comfortable talking about what to eat because if they, everybody did listen, they all wouldn't have diabetes and he wouldn't have a job. Okay, I'm sure he gets paid a lot of money, unlike the old madman. But I don't need money. I have the show. I have friends from Malaysia, Baghdad, China, Israel, all around. Um, I also want to say is I think if they gave prisoners... Oh, uh, food, one meal a day. Whoa, but it's gonna be so hard. You're gonna get hungry. You're gonna get hungry. You're gonna get hungry. And, um, um, and in prison, you know, if they, all these guys would probably lose weight. Like if, in, in, if they, and they probably wouldn't have the energy to keep beating each other up. You're gonna also reach weight plateaus. I went from like when they did 200 to, to 190. That was in like three days because I was eating like a pig Asian. I had hippopotamouth. You've heard a lot of my silly jokes. And you're gonna, and then I got to 178 for like two weeks. I couldn't get broken. Then I got, then I think another plateau was like, uh, there was a 165 plateau forever. Finally, I got 160. I couldn't believe it. People were going, what are you doing? You're, you know, you're anorexic. I mean, I was so puffy. And uh, the first 14 days are really, really crucial. Did I say subscribe to my channel? And uh, um, I just want to say I'll be here every single day. Um, and I'm really, really, I don't know what I'm going to say. I do like all of you. And um this is what I used to like, used to look like, and believe me, the smile there is totally, totally fake. You could barely see my eyes. Now you can see them, and uh, I was not happy. I am so happy. I feel like a high school kid. I feel like I did walking around in college. Even in college, actually, I was starting to get... <coughs> You know, when you just lay around in bed, you don't really notice. I had numbers of four and 500. I mean, I, I, the only problem was I just didn't want to get out of bed and go urinate. Okay, I'm your own mad man. So have a great day and Merry Christmas Eve. Love you all. Let's all say it together. I like you.